The law moved FCT from Lagos to Abuja. You cannot start moving things back to Lagos. Prof. Yusuf says, Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Former CEO of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Usman Yusuf, has expressed concern over speculations regarding the potential relocation of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, to Lagos. In an interview with Arai TV, Yusuf highlighted widespread speculations about refurbishing Dodon barracks for this purpose, urging the president to consider the sentiments of the people seriously. Yusuf criticized the justification given for relocating critical departments of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and moving the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, to Lagos. He emphasized the legal basis for the initial relocation of the capital from Lagos to Abuja and cautioned against arbitrary reversals of such decisions. Expressing dismay at the lack of communication from the government to the Nigerian people, Yusuf pointed out that prevailing mistrust is a result of challenges and difficulties experienced by the populace. He stressed the importance of the president listening to the concerns of the people and engaging in an open dialogue to address fears and doubt. Yusuf noted the speculation in the north regarding a potential move of the federal capital to Lagos, accompanied by refurbishing Dodan barracks for this purpose. He emphasized the need for the president to consider these speculations seriously and engage in an open dialogue to address fears and doubts among citizens. Yusuf highlighted the significance of the legal framework that detected the initial relocation of the federal capital from Lagos to Abuja and argued against arbitrary reversals of such decisions without proper justification. He concluded by saying, and I quote, do not dismiss what people are saying. The federal capital was moved from Lagos to Abuja by law. You cannot start moving things back to Lagos. The excuses they are given are unacceptable. Now, Prof, where you day when this thing they happened, when they moved, uh, what was it called? This fan. The fan that I know that its activities, the business of fan is in Lagos. Now it's in Lagos, now it day. So what is the what is the relation? What thing they do for ABG when they were moving it from Lagos to Abuja? Did you come outside to breathe? I bet I see. Anybody that knows he did he did not come outside and he said nothing. Most especially in Northana. You said nothing when during the eight years of Buhari rain. You did not find anything wrong with it. You did not come out to suggest anything that, oh, Baba, you are going the wrong way. Let us go this way. Why not do it like this? If you did not, you cannot. You don't have the right to breathe on this issue. I'm saying it. So far, Buhari, everything Buhari did was fine and okay. I don't care if they are coming out to tell us, eh, even though I know Tana was there, we did not enjoy It's none of our business. Because you people selected this man and backed him. And you promised to, you promised fire and brimstone if this man was not made the president. So I don't understand. If he, this man, not my own, is, did you come outside to say anything then? When he was moving them from Lagos. How will you move fan from Lagos to Abuja? When do you know they're gonna, the body that it is supposed to regulate is in Lagos? Or should I say, is that like, where, why? What is your, what is your reason? So far, nobody said against against it now, brother. Abi Baba, please face front, eh? Not his boy coming out now to say. You know, the thing is, I have issues with the way most, especially Northerners, handle things. If you cannot see anything wrong with what your kinsman does or do when he's in power, if you cannot as much as ah, this one is good, though you know. Ah, but you don't overdo one. Nobody was calling him to go there, sir. You are doing this one so much. You have no right to come and say anything. If you will not give the same energy. This is the time I'll tell you. You say that energy that you people were maintaining before. Most people were acting as if they had lip glue on their lips. They did not come outside to say anything. Do you understand? 
They did not come outside to sue anything on the issue and they're not coming out now to tell us, eh, you listen to the cries of the people, listen to the opinion. Of course, I would want the president to listen to the opinion of the people. But you see on this one, the energy they maintained when their kinsman was in power, they should please maintain the same energy. That is what I'm saying. If everybody wants to start behaving like this, how can Nigeria move forward? You must come as someone must be genuine. In fact, I put it to the Northerners that it is when their people was in power, as in when your people is in power, when your king's man, that is when you have the right to come out and, you know, you understand, this person is my brother. I don't want him to do what is right. You advise him as you're supposed. You see this attitude of people always say, eh, the Northerners, they don't use to expose their own. That is Baudadash. Anybody that does not behave well, if you have written to the person, of course, you will not just come outside and direct it open. If you have written to the person, you have tried to communicate with this person, and the person is not, you come outside and they say if you strip, if you expose evil, evil will stop. So coming down now to tell us the super story that, eh, you know, my own is, did you say it when your kinsman was there? Did you open your mouth to say anything he did was wrong? When he was doing everything was most especially the nepotism and favoritism. Did you as much come outside and cough? You know, at least somebody will do something and maybe the person, ah, you say this person is bigger than me. You will not be able to say anything. But you, do. <coughs> you understand? You cough and you clear your throat. Ah. So that you are going to at least you express the, your dissatisfaction. He did not. Now you are coming out to tell us that should listen to the opinion of what? They are not moving the federal capital now. Except they are going to. But they are not moving it. But to me, if I say they want to even move it, they should not move it to Lake. They should not move it to Lake also. They should move it to other states. But back to the news. This thing they are saying, my own is, did you as much come outside to say, oh, Baba, this thing you are doing is not okay. Why are you not as uh, so greedy because of your selfish interests? <laughs> CBN is not northern property. It is for all Nigerians. We have to move it to where it will benefit. Thank you. If moving these things, I've said it before, if moving this is going to be beneficial to the country, uh -uh. who am I? Go ahead. If it's going to benefit the country, no problem. Why are you coming out now to say da, 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 that why are they moving things? Um, if you come as a contest for president, if they give you the position, do them as you use that time. When that time wish. You do the one we say good favor, you know everybody. And why you people I don't even understand why they are coming out to even kill themselves on top of this matter. Should be somebody moved it from Lagos to Abuja. And somebody is not moving them from Abuja to Lagos. If that is what they want to be doing with when they go there with their administration, no problems. Alright, on this note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for Tune in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.